Let's go to check your weather now with meteorologist Anthony on Yeah, and before we get to the forecast, mm -hmm. I wanted to share something with you. Of course, we all know our, our special is tomorrow at 7 o'clock. Yeah. We're talking about that. Uh, but I want you to scan here because I want to show you that the actual guide, the, the written out, if you will, the PDF, mm -hmm. all the, the, the details, if you yeah. will, is right here. So if you scan here, you'll actually go to the page that has all the information you need. It's a great checklist. Of you can save it or print yes. it. Okay, yep, good. Save it, print it, or just bookmark it or whatever. But I want you to have that ahead mm -hmm. of the special that airs tomorrow night okay. at 7 o'clock. So I wanted you to uh, have a special look at that. And of course, let's talk about the tropics. We'll s start with the Saharan dust. And first of all, there's a lot of dust out here. The darker the color, the more dense or more thick uh, that it is. So southeast Texas is pretty quiet right now, but you can see mainly in the Caribbean, all the way up into Florida, parts of the Gulf have the thickest of the dust. And it stays thick all the way through uh, Saturday at 9 o'clock in the morning in this area from South Florida into parts of the Caribbean. Be. And the time that we're going to start to get some dust in here is going to be late Friday into Saturday. So when it's hazy, hot and humid, that's going to start out our weekend. And so that's what it looks like and it starts to move up to the north as we move toward a Saturday. But the thickest of it is really well away from us. But just be aware it's not going to be the prettiest of looking days as we head toward the start of the weekend. Tracking the tropics, we're still watching this area here from South Florida all the way off into the southeastern United States. A slight change in the percentage in the next two days, a 10% chance this becomes a tropical depression or tropical storm seven days. I think by the time we get to Friday, it's pretty much off uh, into the Atlantic, but this is the area that we're watching. When you look at the uh, forecast here, there is a little circulation that tries to get going right along the coastline. It just remains fairly uh, disorganized. There it is right there, uh, eight o'clock in the morning on Thursday, a couple days away, and then it starts to move away as we head toward our Friday. So really the only opportunity you have really looks like it's going to be in a couple of days, and that chance is small just because of the way it looks and how close it is to land. But the impacts are what's important. You do not need need any kind of name and we know that for the flooding we've seen here uh, to have an impact and I think the impact with this isn't so much wind but it's going to be rain uh, not a tremendous amount but a pretty good amount two inches to four and a half inches uh, from North Carolina pretty much all the way down uh, to South Florida so that's what's going to happen with that system here's your live Houston area Chevy dealers camera uh, out at the Med Center partly to mostly cloudy skies 87 degrees feels like 95 with a southeasterly wind at 13 miles per hour your forecast for tomorrow if you were watching a few minutes ago I went through the future cast and show that it, uh, throughout the entire day, there's some rain scattered around at times, some thunderstorms. And I think the best chance of us getting thunderstorms is pretty much from noon to three, but maybe even a little light rain to start out our day. And then it gets really steamy as we head toward the weekend, the heat index climbing all the way to 106 degrees. Here's your extended uh, 10 day forecast. We're going to be climbing from the lower 90s into the mid 90s to possibly getting into record setting territory as we head toward this weekend as temperatures climb to near 100 degrees. Next week looks stormy with a slightly lower temperature.